Okay, so the saga of the Gateway FX series continues. Um, I was curious about this uh, hot swappable drive bay and why everybody was complaining about it and that it wasn't working. So I decided to test it for myself and I haven't done anything yet. So what I see is what everyone else is going to see. I have an old uh, SATA drive here. It's a 250 gig. I pulled out one of the trays. There's two trays that come in here. You don't need any screws or anything. There's little tabs that will hold the drive in place. So let's see what happens when I put this puppy in. I got the OS up and running. It's supposed to be hot swappable. I have my doubts. Let's see. What happens? Ah, I need to push that in a little harder. Is anything happening? I don't see anything about drivers being loaded. Let's look at my computer. Hard disk drives, only C is showing up. But I hear it grinding away over there, so let's see. Maybe it's just taking a second. Nothing. All right. So let's take a look at... Let's go under Administrative Tools, Computer Management, Storage, Disk Management, and let's see what we see here. Disk Zero, that's the main hard drive. not showing up interesting I'll have to investigate this a little more and see why this isn't working I'm gonna put go ahead and stop the video so a lot of people have some valid concerns here they've popped the drive in nothing happens it doesn't show up so let's see what the BIOS has to say and uh, that'll be uh, in another video here that I'm going to combine. Hang on one second, I'll be right back with you. Alright, so this is interesting. I shut the computer down, pulled the drive out, pulled it back in just for posterity's sake, and I went into the BIOS uh, upon restarting the machine, and the, mach the drive is being reported as being on AHCI port 5. It's identifying it as a Western Digital 250 gig hard drive, which is correct. Um, there's really nothing in here to enable it so let's just see I'm gonna go ahead and restart here and see if um, it picks it up on reboot if that's the case then these drive bays should not be advertised as hot swappable you may have to power down pop the drive in and then power up but let's see what happens here Let me give you my password here. Okay. No, okay, that's a network drive error. That's not that's not what we're trying to do now. Still does not see it. Let's go to admin uh, tools again. Now that's interesting. System reserved E, local disk F. There it is. 
There it is. Hmm. So it does work. So you had to reboot. Now let's just see what happens. Can I stop it and pull it out? Let's see here. That's interesting. I don't have the option to remove a drive or it's considering it it's considering a fixed drive. It's not considering it a removable drive. That's interesting. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> That's interesting. Alright, so it's looking for something that's not in there anymore, because I've obviously taken it out. Looks like this technology that they're advertising needs a little work. But the fact that the drive does, you know, the drive does show up just means that it's not hot swappable. You probably have to have the drive in there before you power up the machine, and it'll recognize it. Um, so there you have it. There's my experience with the hot swappable, so-called hot swappable drive bays. Uh, the drive did show up. Uh, I pulled it out with the machine up and running, and it doesn't look like the machine's too happy about that. So you may want to have to turn off, you know, power down the machine, pull out the drive, and then power it back up, and vice versa when you want to put it back in. So that is the drive bay on the Gateway FX. That's my experience. I experienced it firsthand and shared it with you. Bye.